In this challenge, you're going to be working with your nib files owner, the card super view, which you got all set up in the last video. But you also will need to start working with the lesson view controller, which controls the card super view. Lesson view controller is very simple at the moment. It just stores a card array. It gets populated with those cards by the app delegate. You won't need to be working with this file right now, but it'll help you to know that you've got all these cards available to you in lesson view controller. There, you should define a pick new card method. Just pick a card at random. One of the times you'll want to call that is in view did load so that a random card is picked each time the app launches. You also want to call pick new card each time the card super view flips. Implementing that is for you to figure out for the challenge. You'll need to make use of card super view's handle flip closure, picking a new card when the flip happens. We'll put the reference for that on screen in a moment. Right now, you don't have a reference to your card super view in your view controller, but we think you might be able to figure out how to get that from your previous experience in storyboards. If you can get that, use the random card that you just defined in pick new card to set its appearance based on the work you did in the last video. In a moment, pause the video, give it a shot, and then come back to see how we tackled the problem. Good luck! To start off with, we needed a reference to the card super view. Because we had a card super view in the lesson view controller scene, I right click dragged to the top of the lesson view controller Swift file and created an outlet. Dragging to the right place might not work. If Xcode throws this error at you, drag the outlet a little lower and then move it up with option command left bracket. Then the code from the challenge slide could be applied. One place to do that would be in view did load. But we like to do that kind of setup in property observers for outlets to keep things tidy. It's your choice. Also, this reference to self really should be unowned. That's not going to make a difference in terms of memory leaks in this app, but it's good practice to do this for your closures. Lesson View Controller owns the card super view, not the other way around. If you're not familiar with this yet, you might find it beneficial to do some research on the unowned keyword. With that set up, we could incorporate the random card. The side and flip didn't matter because they're not doing anything yet. And that was all there was to it. Now we can use this IB outlet, which is also our nib files owner. 